my name is Caitlin with West Palm Dog, and today I'm here with Agnes, and we're working on some loose leash walking. Now, what we're going to be doing today is that I've also got my volunteer, Jasmine, and her partner, Jaja, and we're going to be practicing walking Agnes around other dogs. Now, walking around other dogs is a huge distraction, so in addition to our regular rules, which are no pulling, no dragging, and no sniffing the ground, there's also the additional rule that the dogs are not allowed to meet in any capacity. When you're walking with your dog, you want to be in control of any interactions, not your dog. But we're always going to start with their name and then the command. So it's going to be Agnes. Let's go. Come on. Come on. See, Agnes is dragging a little bit, but I just kept the pressure even. And most importantly, continued walking. It's really important that whenever we're working with a dog and they try to stop for any reason, we are continuing the walk. We don't want her to think that if she does that, she can stop the walk when she pleases. Come on. Good job, right off the bat, come on. You can see Agnes is doing really good. She's walking a little bit clumsy, but that will definitely improve as she gets older. And you see Jaja's doing a really nice job with Jasmine. She's walking very politely next to Jasmine. And you can see she is turning her head to Agnes every once in a while. But the important thing is that she's continuing to walk. She isn't stopping the walk to look at Agnes. Come on. Yes, good girl, Agnes. You see, we're giving lots of vocal praise. It's perfectly acceptable to talk to your dog during the walk, just to give them some praise, some encouragement. Come on. Uh-uh. You see right there, Agnes tried to pop ahead of me, so I just went ahead and gave a little snap to the leash. That just tells Agnes that what she did wasn't appropriate for the walk. Yes, good girl. Good job. Really nice job from both dogs. And you can see Josh is doing a great job even when we're directly behind her. That's a huge distraction. Not a lot of dogs are too comfortable when something is directly behind them. Come on. All right, we're gonna go ahead and do one more lap. Uh-uh. Come on. Uh-uh. All right, to stop, we're just gonna say their names, take a couple extra steps. So it's gonna be Agnes. Yes, good girl. And you see both dogs stop very politely. Overall, really nice practice session from both dogs. You can see we both had loose leashes. Even though you saw Agnes, I had to put a little bit of pressure at times just to steer her in the right direction. Like I said, she is walking a little bit clumsy, but that will improve with more practice. Jaja did really nice. You see, she had that really beautiful J on the leash that we love to look for. Overall, really nice job from both dogs today.